Well, all of this is more allegations are beginning to emerge against Donald Trump. Peter Ducey is live outside Trump Tower here in New York City. Peter, does the New York Times have any plans perhaps to revise their story about Trump? No, nope, not according to the letter that the Times lawyer sent to Trump's lawyer, who yesterday threatened a libel lawsuit against the New York Times. And the newspaper now says they think their hands are clean because their reporters investigated the accuser's claims and printed Trump's response. They also say that if Trump really doesn't like their story, then they're ready for a lawsuit, writing that, quote, if he believes that American citizens had no right to hear what these women had to say, and that the law of this country forces us and those who would dare criticize him to stand silent or be punished. We welcome the opportunity to have a court set him straight. And now his running mate, Governor Mike Pence, says that Trump may be coming forward uh, as soon as a matter of hours, according to something he just said on the Today Show, with evidence to back up his denial of wrongdoing. These unsubstantiated allegations that came from the New York Times and, and People magazine, Donald Trump... Yesterday, publicly, Five women. yeah, he's he's categorically denied these, uh, and there there will be more evidence coming out that that supports that supports uh, uh, you know his. But they're making his it up. What evidence is coming well, out? Well, the, the campaign is working on bringing that information out. Last night, Trump told supporters he thinks the Clinton machine is working hand in hand with the mainstream media to coordinate these stories so that they all drop at really inconvenient times for him, uh, and he thinks that the Clinton machine, he keeps referring to it as, uh, is working with global powers. A Wall Street Journal article now says he is ready to name some of those global powers and that they are said to include the Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim, who is also a big shareholder in the New York Times. Greg. And Pence is saying in a, in a matter of hours that this defense of Trump will be coming out. Maybe it'll happen this hour, so stay tuned. But how is Melania Trump, Peter? trying to come to her husband's rescue. Greg, Mrs. Trump is really picking apart a People magazine writer, Natasha Stoyanov, who described an interaction with Melania as part of her article where she accuses Donald Trump of sexual misconduct. Melania now wants a retraction and an apology, and her lawyer writes that, quote, the true facts are there. Mrs. Trump did not encounter Ms. Stoyanov on the street, nor have any conversation with her. The two are not friends or even friendly. At the time in question, Mrs. Trump would not have even recognized Ms. Stoyanov if they had encountered one another on the street. Trump does continue campaigning today. He's going to go raise some money here in Manhattan and then head on down to North Carolina, a swing state that Republicans still feel very good about. Greg? Peter Ducey, live outside Trump Tower. We'll check back with you, Peter. Thanks.